My job is illustrating the science of botany, which means uh, drawing illustrations for publishing in scientific journals, drawing beautiful flowers, and making posters for our laboratories. Biological sciences have been traditionally visual. We've had pictures of animals, plants. You can't really describe it in words. You have to have a picture. Way back in the 1800s, we had beautiful wall charts we'd use in school. And we wouldn't have a photograph of a swan. We'd have the whole background. When the animal is alive, it's not a skeleton. It's not a picture of a squashed plant pasted on a piece of paper. There are very few biological artists left because uh, everybody takes photographs. But I like to think a lot of times they are not beautiful. When I started, all this sort of thing was done with, um, what do you call them, ink-based output devices, pens and pencils, things like that. Now it's all electronic. We just started working with digital illustrations instead of hand-rendered illustrations. It's the same thing. You're sitting there, you're drawing with pixels instead of liquid media. I started with a photo. I, I see what I want out of this picture. I want the mushroom. And I don't want this. This is pretty ugly. But I could open up a second picture that had this piece in focus. I could paste that on there. And I could warp that to the right shape. And then I can take a couple of tools, lighten up the light parts, darken the dark parts. So you have that enhanced contrast because the camera doesn't get that contrasty stuff. It's going back to these 18th century wall hangings, these portraits of things, and making it painterly. It's introducing a little bit of this sort of indescribable feel of a painting as opposed to a photograph. I think something inside of us realizes this is not real, but more real. It's like it's standing up saying, here I am, you know, with the hat, the cane, big smile, saying, look at me, because I'm gorgeous. I especially want to say that to kids. Botany is beautiful, and we're trying to put this across in pictures. Biological illustration talks to people in the same way that professors that have a way of making you excited about a science. They can do it verbally, I can do it visually, and that's what I've been trying to do.